Hi everybody, Julius de Campenaar here, coming to you from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Today it's my turn again to host Your Daily Five and present five interesting charts to you. As you may know, I am a senior analyst with StockCharts.com and I am the creator of Relative Rotation Graphs or RRGs as they are commonly referred to. I also host the weekly Sector Spotlight Show here on StockCharts TV and I write the RRG blog and contribute to the Don't Ignore This Chart blog on Thursdays and every two weeks the Chart Watchers newsletter. I'm glad you're watching the show and if you watch on YouTube you can make our day by liking the video or even better write your questions or comments in the section below where I'll be happy to answer. Well given my background it will be no surprise that my search for interesting charts starts with the use of an RRG and usually I start with an RRG that shows the sectors and then I dive into the members of the individual sectors that would give me too much charts to use for this occasion so what I did is I followed my process starting at the sectors and then drilling down into the sectors but I have added the stocks of which I thought the tails were interesting on one RRG that I want to share with you and you see that right here you see it's it's relatively uh, readable but we'll toggle through the names on the chart and the first one is the material sector so this was the the pick that I had from a high level overview. I like the direction that the material sector XLB is traveling in and I don't like what I see for the consumer staple sector and as you can see this is a very typical case of sector rotation going on in favor of materials at the cost of staples. So further than the process I started to look for interesting stocks inside the material sector and stocks that maybe should be better avoided in the staple sector. And here are the tails that I found. So in staples, that is uh, HRL, you see that the rotation comes from leading, moving into weakening, now heading towards the lagging quadrant. And the same sort of rotation you'll see for KMB, for Kimberly Clark. You will see the same for Procter & Gamble, big stock. Uh, almost inside the lagging quadrant and then there is HSY Hershey Foods there is a big arrow there because that's one of my charts that I'm going to discuss a little bit more in depth now, if we move to the um, materials stocks the individual stocks then there is uh, DD Dupont de Nemours a very nice long tail but very high on the momentum scale. That makes it a little bit risky. You see a very nice rotation for EMN, Eastman Chemical, almost hitting the leading quadrant, so definitely a stock to watch. And another one which is uh, making a very nice sharp rotation already inside the leading quadrant is FMC. Now the ones that we are going to discuss are FCX, Freeport McMorrin, that's a very interesting tale and a very interesting chart. We have ECL, Ecolab, you see that it's a little bit of a weird hook, but if you, if you run this on a daily RRG, you will see a very nice rotation um, uh, clockwise and into the right direction, which makes it a very strong tail and a very strong stock and definitely worth looking at. And then finally, there is NEM, Newport Mining. Um, you see it's far to the right and that's what makes it interesting because it's inside weakening but if you look at the chart you see why I think that is an interesting chart to pay attention to. Let's quickly move on because the most difficult thing with your daily five is to keep the timing right. The first one is Hershey HSY so this is my second chart here and I don't like it People know that I also always pay attention to the stuff that you do not want to own, that you should avoid in your portfolio. And I, what I see here is a pretty large double top that's completed. We rallied 
and then we already have like three low or two lower lows coming off this uh, all-time high level with the relative strength breaking below this trend line and below its previous lows in the RRG lines both moving below 100 I think that HSY is a stock that is better avoided from the um, consumer staple sector so the sector itself should be avoided and Hershey is definitely one of the stocks to be avoided if we move to chart number three that is Freeport McMoran now this is an interesting one because it is in a sort of long-term downtrend but after that fierce dip in March the first signs of improvement are visible there is a first higher high higher low rotation visible we're gonna challenge these resistance level but what's definitely uh, having my attention is the improvement in the relative strength that seems to be emerging um, which puts Freeport McMoran on my definitely on my watch list as a buying candidate chart number four is Ecolab now that's a nice one because that one broke out to new all-time highs you see that the turnaround in relative strength is definitely there the RS ratio is well above 100 and you see that the high low rotation in RS momentum um, makes it turn on the right hand side and that's very interesting so especially the break above the 208 to 10 area uh, was very strong I would be looking for new buying opportunities when this stock ECL comes down to the 210 to 15 zone because that gives you a very good uh, risk reward opportunity um, with stops going let's say just below 208 and then chart number five is Newman Mining Newman Mining Corporation um, that is already a very strong chart but what I really like is the very strong relative strength it's going into weakening so a temporary pause but definitely the fact that it's almost tested its former resistance now support to the dot uh, makes it a, uh, a, a pretty good buying candidate for the moment and don't be shocked by the fact that it's so far away on the right hand side on that weekly RRG because there is plenty of room for NEM to, to dip into weakening and rapidly turn around back into the leading quadrant and as we all know uh, those are the strongest rotations the strongest moves because they will be starting the second lag or the third or the fourth of a, a relative trend that is already in place and ladies and gentlemen that concludes your daily five for today i hope you enjoyed the show thank you for watching and i definitely hope to see you soon see you back soon at your daily five or any of the other shows here on stock charts tv greetings from amsterdam and see you soon stay safe Hey guys, Grayson Rose here with StockCharts.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did, give us a like down below, leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial minds. We'll see you back here very soon. Happy charting, my friends.